G'day, Birdman Pete with you one more time to talk about an idea I had a couple of weeks ago when I needed to test safely, I hoped, an absolutely unknown multi rotor. Now, there were lots of very odd features of the multi rotor. First of all, it was one of my more radical <laughs> design ideas, but it had a totally unknown flight controller and I wasn't confident that I'd followed the instructions correctly and I had all sorts of doubts including the fact that I was driving it with a brand new transmitter that I'd never used before. So I wanted a safe way of checking that this thing was not going to cut anybody's arms or legs off or do as they so often do do, flip over violently wrecking props and bits of furniture and grandmother's breast glassware. So what was I to do? <laughs> Inspiration struck and I had an invention. Well, no, 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 no. Perhaps not an invention, but <laughs> a radical collection of weird ideas. Let me show them to you in action. Okay, here we have a quadcopter controlled by a Thunder QQ Super. And this quadcopter is anchored onto the grass with four elastic ropes. It's going through its checkout procedure and it says it's ready to go. What it doesn't know is that some idiot has messed with the menu. And this has got a very common fault. So this is not going to fly like it should. But none of the system knows that. So now we're arming it. And the motor's running and it looks as if it should be good. I'm adding power. And it's starting to get light. And it's rising at the nose, so I push a little forward stick and it gets worse. Oh dear, something's wrong. I add a little power more and I apply a little right roll and oh goodness me, it's going left. We've just discovered the two simple faults, so we fixed them up. Disarm. Okay, we've corrected it. We think we've corrected it. We're still going to have to be careful. So, arming. Here comes the throttle. Okay, notice it's getting light at the back. Got, it looks as if it wants to go slightly left. I'm going to apply a little right and it's going down on the right and up on the left. So that's correct. Adding a little more power. It's still rising at the back. I'm adding a little back stick and the nose comes up. So we know those controls are working fine. Adding more power. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm lowering the throttle. It's pretty certain that this copter is going to fly the way we want it to fly when we let it off the hooks. Now the idea was an unqualified success and I must admit I had stage managed those mystery faults but let's not fuss about that. This is television man. So the secret of it is that on each arm of the quadcopter, or it could be a hexa, or it could be a, an octa, and you wouldn't need to have more than four restraining ropes, is an oki strap. Here is an oki strap. I'm not sure what people in other parts of the world might call an oki strap. And they were used back in the late 50s, early 60s for securing surfboards onto the roof of your car. That was back in the days when surfboards were so big that they wouldn't fit into the glove box. How different to today! Well, well, well. So, we had these horrible bits of steel sitting on the roof of our car and we tied our boards on with hockey straps and we were heroes. So, four hockey straps, equal length. In this case, the length is one metre. And this end is fastened into the ground with a tent peg. Very simple. It needs to be quite a long tent peg, it depends how soft the soil is, but you can find some other way of pegging it down. Old screwdrivers are great for this, let me tell you. And it cleans the screwdrivers of all that paint that's accumulated when you use them as paint stirrers. I'm sure you've all done that. So, there it is. Is it an invention? Probably not. 
And here's a list of all the amazing things that you could test. Yes, indeedy. It's all so easy and oh so cheap at a car parts store near you.